yes <clears throat> we're back again so now we are done with creating our our audience the regular audience and it appears here as you can see this is the children clothing audience and we created it not long ago now you can assess this from your audience directly so you you come here and you click on your audience you click on your audience and you you can find it all your saved all your saved audiences will appear here so we just created one so we have one saved but now we want to look at them um, how you can create them um, what they call a custom audience if you are just watching this video my name is good Noah and it gives me joy that you are watching this because you want to improve in whatever it is that you do so now working with Facebook gives you a lot of options and a lot of things you can do like I said in the previous video you have to work with control you have to work with control so one of the very enticing options that you get on marketing through Facebook is that you have a custom audience and you can create a look-alike audience I will make um, a separate video for this look-alike audience because I don't want this video to become so lengthy so we will focus on the custom audience so the custom audience are people let me open it so you click on open a custom audience from here you can create based on the data you have from here you can create based on people who have visited your website when you have your Facebook um, Bizel tracker installed on your website I'll make a video for that and you should watch it on how you can create a Facebook puzzle and install a Facebook puzzle now this is a customer list you can create an audience by uploading your customer list if you have um, a list of people who are your who are your customers already who bought from you maybe Instagram and um, Facebook contacts um, phone numbers and all that you can upload them as a customer list and create an audience out of that now if you have apps you created an app you can create an audience of people who have interacted or who have launched your app or games or who have taken a specific um, action on your app this is for offline activity if you have people who have had um, interacted with your business maybe you have an offline store a restaurant a boutique and all that people who have um, interacted you can create um, an, an offline activity these ones this 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 um, um, sources will be provided by you because you are the one who is in charge of them but now if you want to use Facebook sources you can use people who have um, um, contacted your or who have engaged with your Instagram account people who may have liked your post people who have viewed your page people who have seen your ads on Instagram so these people can be like um, people who may be interested they've seen your page on Instagram you can create an ad to target them in particular isn't that amazing it's amazing what you can do with these things so you have to stay in control of what you do now if you've created a video on Instagram and um, on Facebook you can also create an audience of people who have viewed who have viewed your video your Instagram and all that this is a lead form if you are generating lead you can generate lead through the Facebook and create an audience and these are for people who have um, interacted with your Facebook page people who follow or people who like your Facebook page this is for shopping who people who have interacted with your product either on Facebook or Instagram so we'll work with Instagram and see how this really works 
now if you open the instagram option you have the option of um, you select your page this is just one of my pages so you can include people who you want to target if you want to target people who have seen your instagram post who have engaged engaged or anyone who has seen your profile people who engage with your post or your ads people who saved your post or your ad you want to run an advert to them these people may have been there in the last one year you can even reduce it to say 30 days so you are looking at people who have been on your page on instagram for the last 30 days for the last 30 days so this advert will retarget those people who have been on your page so the key thing with facebook is always about retargeting because you are trying to build trust so it's not a one-off something it's a continuous process that you have to keep doing to build trust and build brand awareness so when you've selected as you want you can make it 60 days so people who have interacted with your page in the last two months and you can equally include more people or even exclude people isn't that isn't that amazing of course it is now that is for instagram so you can for your video maybe your video you can also choose people who have viewed your video I viewed your video maybe on Facebook or Instagram in the last 31 year in the last 30 days in the last 45 days and everything so when you've selected you can name this um, audience so it will be easier for you to to remember and it will also appear in your saved um, audiences so now let's look for um let's look at facebook page now this is for people who have um, just like your instagram people who who have um interacted with your page again you can select anyone who visited your page they don't have to like your page or follow your page they might have just seen your page and visited it anybody who would have engaged with your page maybe by reading it by liking it by commenting on it or your ads people who clicked on your call to action people who may have clicked on buying something and they didn't buy this is important for retargeting people who sent a message to your page it's also important for retargeting because a lot of things happen when people are online i might have seen your ad and maybe in the process of trying to buy something happened maybe i received the call and my facebook refreshed and i couldn't get to see your ads again so it wasn't like i didn't want to buy but i can't locate you anymore so this is why it's important to retarget people sometimes so you see people have sent you messages you can retarget them they might have forgotten something must have come up that they, they, they forgot about you so you retarget them or you can also retarget people who saved your page or any post because you can read post on Facebook and save them so if somebody saves a post it's most likely because that post um, was important to him or her so he he or she saved it for future reference so you can remind them by also retargeting them so for people who saved your 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 page or your post so it's an important thing you can do with um, um creating custom audiences on facebook creating custom audiences on facebook so if you are looking to stay in control of your facebook you should take this thing seriously study your study your 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 audience now let's look at them um, shopping custom audience now you create people who have interacted with your Facebook and Instagram shop you can actually have a, an online shop on Instagram and Facebook so you can create con um, an audience and retarget people who have viewed your product in your store people who viewed your product and navigated to your website 
people who saved your product, people who, who said, okay, I will buy this product later, maybe in December and all that. So you retarget these people, people who viewed your shop page, people who viewed your shop collection, people who added your any product to their carts, and people who initiated checkout for any of this product. Now, all these people and their behavior, you can target them on Facebook. You, you, can, you can see this one is in the last 180 days. You can make it in the last 30 days, the last 40 days, and you retarget them as a reminder. And this set of people are the people who will see your ad. So you are automatically talking to an already interested group of persons. So your chances of conversion are high. I do not want this video to be quite lengthy. We are past 10 minutes already. So we'll stop now and we'll create um, a, a look-alike audience video for you. Thank you for watching this video. Again, my name is Good Noel. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.